okay now we want to see the relationship between polar and rectangular coordinates okay we want to see the relationship between polar and rectangular coordinates okay so for relationship between polar and rectangular coordinates there are a few um, uh, important things that you need to remember the first thing is x is can be found by using a formula r cos theta okay where r and theta we can get the from the polar coordinate system okay the second thing you need to know is to get the value of y you can use the formula r sine theta okay this one is the second formula the third formula is okay r is actually square root of x square plus y square okay this one is this one come from the formula of circle where we have x square plus y square equal to r square therefore r is actually square root of x square plus y square okay and the first uh, important things that you know you need to know is you can find your value of theta from the formula tan arc tan y over x if you are given a rectangular coordinates okay so your theta can be found by finding what is the value of arc tan y over x so this one is the important things that you need to know um, to see the relationship between polar coordinates and rectangular coordinates okay so let's say we want to convert the points uh from polar coordinates into rectangular coordinates okay the first one we need we want to uh, convert point three zero okay this one is polar coordinate where we have r as a distance from pole to the point and zero is a theta okay therefore if we write or we, if we position our polar coordinates in the polar coordinate system we will have theta equal to zero Okay, means that it lies on the polar axis here so from pole to the point is with the distance 3 okay so here is 3 0 okay means that you will have a rectangular point okay in the form of xy where at this point your xy also 3 0 so this one is your rectangular point Okay. let's say this let's see the second example okay you have polar coordinates point 5 pi okay you know that this 5 is actually the distance between pole to the points and pi is actually the theta okay the directed angle therefore in polar coordinate system if we position our polar coordinate points okay so we uh, position the theta first so our theta is pi means that from here polar exists to here okay here to here okay so this one is our angle so that the line is lies on this line okay with r equal to 5 so let's say r equal to 5 to here so our point is here okay here is 5 the distance from the point to the pole is 5. Therefore, at this point, the value of x is 0. The value of... Sorry. At this point, the value of x is negative 5 and the value of y is 0. So, this one is our rectangular coordinates. Okay, because rectangular coordinates will be written in the form of x, y okay so let's say we have another point polar coordinate points okay we have polar coordinate point six two pi over three okay so 
if we position our polar coordinate points on the polar coordinate system you can see that the theta is equal to 120 because 2 pi is 360 divided by 3 is 120 okay so if you position the angle here is that is starting from here to here is 90 then up to here okay so you have the line from pole here to there and this one is the point okay 6 2 pi over 3 okay but by position the polar coordinate points for this case you cannot get what is the value of y directly okay like before you cannot get get what is the value of y directly and what is the value of x directly from these point coordinates but then you can use the formula that i said before to find what is the value of x the formula is r cos theta so now we know that our r is equal to 6 cos our theta is equal to pi over 3 okay so you can calculate this by using your calculator you will get your value of x is equal to negative 3 okay same goes to the value of y because we cannot see what is the actual value of y here okay that represent the polar coordinates point here okay therefore we can find the value of y by using the formula where formula is equal to r sine theta okay therefore we know that our r is 6 sine 2 pi over 3 okay so we have the value of y is equal to 3 set 3 therefore our rectangular point is equal to negative 3 3 set 3 because rectangular point will be written always in the form of x y okay so this is the relationship between a uh, rectangular point and also the polar okay point. just now we see how to convert from the uh, polar coordinates point into rectangular point let's now we try to convert from rectangular point to polar coordinate points okay so now we want to convert from rectangular point to polar coordinates point okay you know that we always know that the rectangular point is in the form of x y y polar coordinates point is in the form of r theta where r is a direction from uh, r is a distance from pole or origin into the point and theta is a directed angle from the polar axis to the line okay so let's say we have a um, rectangular point zero three okay let's illustrate this point on the polar coordinate system okay so zero three is the value of x is equal to zero and the value y of y is equal to three it will be here okay let's say this one is zero three okay so to convert into polar coordinate points you know already the distance from pole from pole to the point where the distance is three therefore your r is equal to three now you want to check what is the value of theta okay so our directed angle we start from the polar axis here to the line okay therefore your theta is equal to 9 90 or pi over 2 okay so your polar coordinate system can be written as 3 pi over 2 okay okay let's say let's see the second example we have um, the rectangular point 0 negative 6 okay so let's illustrate in the graph okay 0 negative 6 so 0 is 0 x is on the x line and negative 6 is here therefore this one is the point okay therefore we want we already know from point 0 negative 6 to the pole or to the origin the distance is equal to 6 okay so our r is equal to 6 now what is the value of theta okay so theta start from the polar axis here to the line therefore we have theta equal to 
180 or pi okay so our polar coordinates point is 6 pi okay let's see um, another example here okay so uh, we have let's say we have a rectangular point negative 2 negative 2 so our x is negative 2 our y is negative 2 okay so let's illustrate this point on the polar coordinate system on x and y axis so this one is our y and this one is our x okay negative 2x negative 2y will be here this one is negative 2x let's say this one is negative 2y therefore our point is here okay so we need to find what is r okay we need to find what is r okay because we don't know what is r okay so we can use the formula that i mentioned before where r is actually set x square plus y square okay and you know that your x is negative 2 and y is negative 2 therefore r is equal to set negative 2 square plus negative 2 square so you have set 4 plus 4 equal to set 8 so this one is your r okay so set 8 also can be uh, can be written in the form of set 4 times 2 okay or 2 set 2 okay you can return in the form of uh, set 8 or you can also return in the form of 2 set 2 which one both are accepted so now we have already the value of r so now we have already the value of r what we want to find here is the value of theta okay by using the formula theta is equal to tan up tan or inverse tan y over x what you will get is the angle okay from the axis here to the line okay so you will get the angle let's say alpha okay let's find alpha first okay so to find alpha we use this formula where we will have inverse tan our y is negative 2 our x is negative 2 okay if you press your calculator you will get your let's say we denote as alpha first because this one is not shared at theta okay we will get the alpha is equal to 45 or pi over 4 okay so pi over 4 is just the value of alpha from here to here but your theta is from the polar ex uh, polar axis here to here so what you need to do you is you need to plus your alpha with pi because from here to here is equal to 180 equal to pi therefore your uh, actual theta is actually pi over 4 plus pi pi equal to 5 pi over 4 okay therefore you have the polar coordinate points for this one is equal to set at set 8 5 pi over 4 this one is your polar coordinate point.